The mood of the nation, India today, Cicero poll comes uh, after Narendra Modi has completed just over 300 days in power. What it does show is that Mr. Modi still retains a high level of personal popularity, that if elections were held today, the BJP would still be the party number one, and Mr. Modi is still the favored choice for prime minister of the country. To that extent, you could say that the honeymoon that the Indian voter had with Narendra Modi in the general election build up last year still endures. However, our mood of the nation India Today poll also is a wake-up call for the Prime Minister. It is clear that there are certain issues, particularly what is perceived as growing communal intolerance, which worries the voter. The voter has made it clear he or she voted for Narendra Modi on his track record of governance and development. What instead they are troubled by is the growing so-called fringe elements power and uh, campaigns like Ghar Vapsi clearly have not worked. In fact, voters are suggesting let's just have a anti-conversion law in this country. Interestingly, of course, the key issues on which Mr. Modi is going to be judged are more bread and butter issues like rising prices. Prices is seen as still the number one issue. It often is in polls like this, but clearly, Achhe Din Aayenge came with the presumption that prices would come down across the board. That hasn't quite happened. No one is blaming Mr. Modi for it, but clearly the expectations that the Prime Minister has set of his government has at some level led to some disillusionment when many of the promises are not met. Interestingly, Mr. Modi is seen as the most honest politician that the country has. So. On the issue of corruption and tackling corruption, Mr. Modi is still being given the benefit of doubt by voters. They also seem to believe that Mr. Modi, uh, his Swachh Bharat campaign is something to be supported. On Make in India, uh, there's a sense that Mr. Modi needs to do much more. These are his two pet projects. From an opposition perspective, it appears that uh, Congress voters are divided as to whether Rahul Gandhi can revive the party at all. Interestingly, many believe that Priyanka should replace Rahul. This has been a question which has been whispered about in the corridors of power in the Congress. What about Arvind Kejriwal? Well, all I can say is that this poll was done soon after his remarkable victory in the Delhi elections, but before the implosion in the ARP. So I wouldn't read too much into the numbers into of Arvind Kejriwal in this poll. But I think what is certain is Narendra Modi is still India's neta number one. Having said that, as the Delhi debacle showed, he cannot take the Indian voter for granted. To that extent, this poll could be seen as a bit of a wake-up call for his government. How do you respond to the poll? Join me and uh, carry on this feedback here on my website. Thanks for listening.